Ever wondered how sensors work and what makes one sensor different from another? Today, we'll delve into the fascinating world of sensors, exploring their static and dynamic characteristics. Sensors are everywhere, from the thermostat in your home to the motion detectors in security systems. They measure, detect, and record physical properties, making our world more interactive and responsive. But have you ever stopped to consider how they do this? Well, it all comes down to their static and dynamic characteristics. Let's begin with the static characteristics. These characteristics describe a sensor's behavior under steady state conditions, where the quantity they measure is constant or changes very slowly. Firstly, we have accuracy. This is the degree to which the sensor's measurements match the true value of the quantity being measured. Next we have precision, which refers to the sensor's ability to reproduce the same measurement under the same conditions. Then there's resolution, the smallest change in the quantity being measured that the sensor can detect. Sensitivity is another static characteristic. It refers to the change in the sensor's output per unit change in the quantity being measured. Linearity, on the other hand, is the extent to which the sensor's output is directly proportional to the quantity being measured. We also have hysteresis, which is the difference in the sensor's output for the same measured value, depending on whether the measurement is being increased from a lower value or decreased from a higher value. And finally, we have drift, the unwanted gradual change in the sensor's output over time when the quantity being measured remains constant. Now let's move to dynamic characteristics. These describe how sensors respond to rapidly changing quantities. Response time is the time it takes for a sensor to respond to a change in the measured quantity. Bandwidth refers to the range of frequencies over which the sensor can accurately measure changes in the quantity. Dynamic range is the range between the minimum and maximum values of the quantity that the sensor can measure with acceptable accuracy. And we also have rise time and settling time. For sensors responding to step changes, the rise time is the time it takes for the sensor's output to go from a low value to a high value, while the settling time is the time it takes for the output to stabilize within a certain range around the final value. In summary, the static and dynamic characteristics of sensors play a fundamental role in their functionality. Understanding these characteristics can help in selecting the right sensor for a specific application, ensuring that the sensor can meet the required accuracy, precision, and response time. So next time you come across a sensor, remember there's more than meets the eye.